Hey, what's up? Jack Bot here, and we're gonna do something interesting. So I'm doing this walking, like outside video, just selfie mode, uh, and we're gonna talk about you know the life force of your business. All right, this is the, the number one thing I've noticed. I've you know been doing these online coaching businesses since 2019 here, failed a whole bunch, made zero dollars for 16 months. Um, yeah, let me start with that story actually. <laughs> so uh, if you're a coach yourself, I've failed a whole lot. Um, I, so I founded my, my fitness coaching company in 2019, and um, first 16 months, we literally profited zero dollars. So we were very stupid, had no clue what we were doing, but um, there, there's just one strong correlation I found looking back at that time and looking back at you know right now in my, my current businesses um, and all the guys that I help as well. There's one thing that tells me like truly how well the business is gonna do this month. Like looking at this one stat, um, and it's this, like this is the life, force, the, the life force of your business. If you do well with this, you're gonna do like make a lot of money. If you don't, then that, you're gonna really struggle like forever. Um, it's booking calls, all right, so calls. Literally every time I'm walking, so I gotta, gotta be careful here, I'm walking through this debris right here. Um, but anyways, booking calls, like I can look at the numbers every single month and if I have a month where I'm booking, you know, 80, 100, 200 calls on the calendar, we're gonna make some good money. Right? It's a good volume of calls, obviously. Um, if there's a month looking back where we only booked like 30 calls for some reason, like way back, then we're obviously the business gonna struggle. Like 30 calls is not that many, you know, comparatively. So like that's the number one thing. If you can figure out how to book calls consistently and scale that up, you're never gonna have problems with client acquisition, you're never gonna have problems growing. So. That's really it. That's a life force, booking calls. So like, I, I, I do want to discuss this more. Like the problem I see, like if this problem you're facing right now with lead gen, with booking more calls, like the number one thing you don't want to do, the number one mistake you can make is just not focusing on this problem and trying to focus on other things that, like during this time. So like there's something called the theory of constraints. The theory of constraints is basically, you know, in, when you're in your funnel, like in your flow of client acquisition, there's always going to be a constraint, all right? A, a point in which the, the flow of value basically slows down in the system. All right, so for example, if that's calls book, that's your constraint. If, for example, you have a lot of followers, getting a lot of views on your content, but there's no one who's booking calls. Clear constraint in the system. All right, that's essential for someone to become a client, right? And so when you identify this, with the theory of constraints, basically what you want to do is, once you've identified the, the one constraint in your business, the one thing that, hey, if you fix this, you can 2x, 3x, 5x the business right now. Once you figure this thing out like that is your pure, utter focus. You only do that one thing, and that one thing only. Like, don't, don't worry about trying to improve the product more, at least for right now. Um, you hopefully have a great product already. Um, don't worry about trying to improve your sales process and test like different prices or get better at clothes. Like, don't worry about it because it matters, yes, but it's not the one thing that matters the most right now. The one thing that matters the most is you booking more calls. Holy crap, almost stepped in some manure here. We're getting crazy. Um, but that's the one thing that matters most. So, literally, all of your 100% like focus, energy, attention needs to go on booking calls. You need to set up a system that consistently books you calls. If you do that, like money won't be a problem. <laughs> That's just how it works. That's the one like correlation. Like they say correlation doesn't cause, co isn't causation. But in this case it is like, this is causation. More calls equals more money. Less calls equals less money. Like that's it. And so let's say this is you. You've identified, okay, this is the constraint of my business. And now I know I need to place 100% of my attention and energy on this. First thing you want to do is actually systemize it. All right, <laughs> like this is the, the number one mistake that I made in so long. That's why we we sucked in our fitness coaching business for sixteen months, zero dollars profit. We had no clue what a system was, no clue like what what everything looked like and how it works. Okay, look at this duck. Oops, can I zoom in on here? I can't. Okay. Anyways, we've got ducks out here. Anyways, I was traveling through some harsh terrain. Anyways, back to the cliffhanger. How do you systemize? booking calls so first thing you want to do is actually break it up into each kind of step of the process so how does someone go from stranger to book call like break down the whole process so usually step one is attention right you think the attention of, of someone in your niche in the first place right if you don't have their attention they're never going to book call so that's step one attention number two now is interest 
All right, so converting that attention, or maybe they're viewing your content, maybe they follow your page into an actual you know, interest. They explicitly say, hey, I'm interested in your thing. Maybe they reach out to you, maybe you reach out to them, maybe they opt into something, whatever it is. We need their interest. Then after interest, number three is call booked. All right, so it's simple, three steps. It's quite simple. And now that we have the three steps, we need to make this concrete and give each step metrics. All right, metrics are a game changer. Um, I am, I harp on this very big, I'm a big numbers guy, but that's for good reason because everything I do is data driven. And with that comes predictability. With that comes consistency. And so what do I mean by metrics? So you should have a metric for each step of that system, for attention, for interest, and for calls booked. So example of like the, the big metric we track is appointment booking rate. All right, so appointment booking rate is basically a percentage of people that book a call from you know seeing the initial thing, whatever the initial stimulus is that you put in front of them. And so that basically measures how effective you know your call booking system is as a whole. Now there's also a way you can measure the, the other you know steps of the system. For example, the interest step you can measure that with positive reply rate. So if you're sending out DMs, for example, the people that reply positively they are interested. All right, so you can track the effectiveness of that step in the system with that metric. And that's what we wanna do here. That's how it works. All right, so that's how you systemize it is you need to define the steps and you basically give each step metrics. Okay, now what's next? Okay, now we, we systemize it, we have the steps down. We're starting to track metrics for each step of the system. How do we actually make it convert now? How do we get a system to consistently book calls? This is the magic right here. This is the big aha moment I had. When I had this, client acquisition was never a problem ever again. All right, this is, this is the secret sauce right here. All right, if you do this, you will succeed, period. It will take some time probably, yes, but you will succeed, period. Like, it is impossible for this to fail. I'm hyping this up for a reason, because it's important. So, once you have that, you have the system defined with the metrics. Next, what we do is we simply use the scientific method applied to client acquisition. So what does this mean? How does this work? So scientific method. The, the basic, we'll, we'll kind of simplify it. Because I know there can be like seven steps to it, all these different things that you learn in school. But scientific method. Uh, basically, it's like we have a hypothesis. We test the hypothesis, keeping all these variables consistent. And then we observe results. All right, that's the three steps, right? And so, test hypothesis. This is basically you have this hypothesis. Let's use like an outbound system because this is simplest. So this would be like you DMing people, you're sending out messages and trying to get people booked on a call from there. All right, so let's say you have a script that you use and that's your hypothesis, you test it, you run the test. And during the test, what's very important in the scientific method is you cannot change any variables. You cannot. If you change variables and you script the test, and it's invalid. And so we run the test, we get a good sample size. We're testing the script specifically. We see how many people respond positively, how many people book calls. You're tracking the success of it with metrics. And then step three of the scientific method, you observe results. And based on those results, you either, number one, success, all right? The, the metrics you give back are, are good. They're successful enough for you to just scale the system and do more. Or second option, is you're not good enough. And so what you have to do is iterate. You iterate one variable, and then you test that. You run another test, you run another you know, experiment. That's it, like that, that's the game. You use the scientific method over and over again until you have a successful campaign, a successful system to book calls consistently. That's what I've done. That's how you know my calendar's booked out every single day now. Like it's, it's quite crazy and it's, it's getting a, a bit annoying how many, how many calls we're getting, how many leads we're getting. Um, I'm definitely going to need to onboard some, some sales reps here very soon because we're fully booked out. Um, but that's the game. That is the game. And this applies to everything. If you're running um, you know, content, um, outbound systems, paid ads, all this. I'm looking at the ground, by the way, because there's like some dog poop here. But um, that's the game. Do this and you will win, period. All right, so I hope this helps. Like, hope this helps get you focused on the, the number one concern of your business, which is book calls. And also how to fix that problem on a high level. Like once you have this, you fully understand, you fully do it. Like client acquisition is never a problem ever again. So do this, implement this. Um, if you want help and you want to kind of skip the learning curve, so you already have like converting scripts, converting like ad campaigns, really everything you possibly need just to plug and play right away and get results. Um, that's what we provide. So if you're interested, click the link below. We have a video breaking down my offer in more detail. 
Um, again, like call bookings are gonna be very limited right now because we have a lot of high demand, but check it out if you're interested. If you're not, that's cool. Appreciate you watching. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.